at least 12 billion shillings in compensation. Tourism and Wildlife Cabinet Secretary Najib Balala says there has been a compensation backlog over the past seven years and the government has only paid 2 billion shillings since 2018. Balala called on the Kenya Wildlife Service to prioritize compensation by seeking collaboration with partners to raise the money for victims and their families. During the launch of the 2019-2024 Kenya Wildlife Service Strategic Plan and the Conservation Agency Human Resource Manual at the Watamu Marine National Park in Kilifi County, Tourism and Wildlife Cabinet Secretary Najib Balala said a compensation backlog of victims of human wildlife conflict is running into billions of shillings. He however noted the issue of compensation was not only just a national agenda but an international one as human wildlife conflicts have far reaching consequences. Na shida ambayo kubwa sasa tumeiona ni ile baina ya binadamu na wanyama pori zile shida ambazo pana ambayo ni human wildlife conflict. Na hiyo lazima iwe ni agenda ya kimit, ya kimataifa si agenda ya Kenya peke yake. Kwa sababu human wildlife conflict ina tuharibia uhusiano baina sisi na jamii. Balala called on the Kenya Wildlife Service to develop strategies of raising more funds in order to bridge deficits that have been occasioned by the COVID-19 pandemic. Government cannot fund us in everything and it's not sustainable at the same time. So we need to be more innovative in how do we raise funds. KWS Director General Brigadier Retired John Migwi Waweru urged Kenyans to learn to live with the wild animals saying almost 65 percent of the animals live outside national parks and reserves aslimia salasid natano peke yake ndo wako nadi ya parks kwa hiyo wanyama wengi zaidi wako kati ya watu na lazima watu na wao waelewe kuwa hawa wanyama ni wetu for legends edition i'm ben troy